And I don't know where you've been, but you're gonna respect this courtroom. My life has proven that it's not about where you come from, it's about where you're going. From a jailed youth who had my record expunged to becoming the youngest judge elected. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. In just 15 years. Ma'am, let me know when you want to go to rehab. Otherwise, I think you're a crackhead. Absolutely not. My goal is to inspire others to overcome their obstacles. You don't need him and his little raggedy roommate. Thank you. All while having a little fun on Mathis Court. You look like you're ready to lie right the first <laughs> word out your mouth. <laughs> this is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Tasha Vance is suing Asia Robertson in the amount of $800. Ms. Vance claims her friend gave her a sob story that she couldn't pay her rent and says that after she gave Ms. Robertson the money, the defendant went to Vegas instead. State your name? Tasha Vance. Ma'am? Asia Robertson. All right, and you are suing Ms. Robertson for $800 saying that she use money that you gifted to her for a particular reason on something else. Yes, sir, she did. Start with you. And that's called conversion, by the way. And it's when you take money from a p one purpose and you use it for another. You've converted that use to a new use. And the question is, was that the intent? Otherwise, they might not have given it to you. Start with you. I didn't gave you the law, so you know what to say now, right? Go ahead. What happened here? Well, sir, what it pretty much happened is, is I take walks every morning. Um, Miss Asia, she also was going on those, walking in the same area. So when we met up, I was see her and I said, you know what? She seemed like a really nice young lady. So we started talking and then the next thing you know, we became friends. Good. And I, I was looking at her, I said, you know what she like? She's about the same age as my children, which are grown now. Mm -hmm. So I said, maybe I can be a mentor, or maybe help her through some things in her life. So after we uh, started talking and everything, we would take walks for like mm -hmm. three months, three times a week we'd be together. Right. And then what happened was is that after What would you all talk about? I'm just uh, curious. We would talk about, like for instance, my children, the things that I was going through that I didn't understand. Talk about my the kids. My daughter was her age. Talk about our kids. Yes, sir. Your Honor. What else does she talk about? She was telling me about her I'm relation. not talking about her. I'm talking about my wife's walking partner. Your wife's walking partner? Yeah, you telling me what y'all be doing when on them walks. <laughs> I want to know what she do. <laughs> you say y'all talk about the kids? What else y'all be doing on them well, walks? Well, we're talking about, you know, me. And how long do y'all walks last? Oh, I walk my last. walk, my wife can walk to Vegas as long as hers lasts every morning. <laughs> so I'm not sure about them walks, quite frankly. Uh, mm. But no, um, let me thank you, Denise. My wife has walked for three years. Mm -hmm. She's lost 25 pounds. Oh, she was wow. already beautiful, mm. but she feels a lot more beautiful. That it can get, couldn't get more beautiful mm -hmm. to me already, mm -hmm. but she feels a lot more beautiful from those walks. <laughs> all right, and you all, you would counsel with her, mentor her, exchange information, and tell her, use your experience, I'm sure, as an example of mm -hmm. um, how she could achieve a positive uh, and productive lifestyle. Yes, sir. Good. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, uh, we, I enjoyed our walks so much. They were therapeutic for the both of us because at the time we both needed somebody to talk to. I was struggling with motherhood and that's where I felt like she related with me. I have two kids um, and I, on my own, so I looked to Miss Tasha as a motherly figure because at the Great. time my mother wasn't around. Great. Mm -hmm. And how old are your children? Five and six. Has it benefited you? You say it has. It did at the time, and I was very appreciative. Okay, good. See, that's what how mentees should be. Now you gotta give her some money. Cash I don't money. believe I owe her the money because she. We haven't gotten to that yet. I was just trying to get some background on you. And now we can get to the part that might not make me so proud, uh -huh. and we'll see who I'm disappointed in. Let's see what happened with the uh, monies. How did that come about? Okay, well, the thing is, sir, it's like after three months of folks going constantly, three times a week, uh, she stopped coming. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, because usually if she's not going to be there, she would text me and let me know what's going on. And I didn't get a text, so I called her a couple of times, and she didn't respond to any of my phone calls. So finally, she did answer the phone, 
And when she answered the phone, she was just crying and uh, yelling and screaming. And I'm like, oh my God, what is wrong with you, baby? She said, oh, I'm going through some money problems. Hold said, on, hold on. All right, this don't sound right. Maybe you'll clear it up. You don't call people and they come to the phone. Just so happy when you call, they're screaming and crying about money. So it didn't exactly happen that way. Uh, I was avoiding her calls because I was too embarrassed to tell her that I was struggling to make rent and all the other things that I was going through. So when I finally did pick up, she had asked me where I'd been. Um, I had told her I just needed some time to myself. And then from there, I started to break down because that makes this sense. was somebody that I confided in. This is somebody that I'd seen three times a week. You know, I, I felt embarrassed to tell her what I was actually going through. Mm -hmm. And so it kind of all came out in one moment. I wasn't just, I need money, you know. Yeah. She had I asked me. It. Now that makes sense yeah. what you're saying. Coming up on Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. In my life, I have gone through that as far as being homeless, you know? Me and my children. So I felt for her. And later. Now y'all gonna be wild kids in a minute at some <laughs> point in your life. And I, I would have hoped you'd done it already. Because you get in college while you're at now, you're gonna see a lot of wild stuff and at some point you're gonna give in. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Mathis Court is back with the case of Tasha Vance, who is suing Asia Robertson for conversion. So tell me about the money. Who suggested or requested? So she said that I'm not able to pay my electricity bill and my rent, and I don't want me or my children to have to be homeless. I was like so struck with it because you know what? In my life, I have gone through that in my life as far as being homeless, you know? Me and my children. So I felt for her, and I knew what she'll have to incur or endure when she was out there going through that process with her children. So I asked her, I said, okay, how much was your rent? And she told me $800. So I gave her $800 for her rent. As a gift? I, I gave it for her rent as a gift, yes, sir. Okay. And what did you come to find out to cause you to sue her today? Well, what had happened was, is a couple of weeks later, I get a, a ding on Instagram, and here she go. Partying down. In what? Las Vegas. <laughs> she bling blinging, her nails look better than mine, okay? And not only that, she had, she had this knucklehead on the side of her drinking, sipping on some drinks. That's right. That knucklehead is the father to my children. So, but he didn't have that 800, and no. you're sipping with him. So I called her. He's sipping off your money. I, I called her. He ain't I paying said, for his own children. That's what not I'm talking about. Not supporting the mother of the children. That's what and I'm he, to And uh, to top it off, when you give her some money, he benefiting from that. That's where your money went. Felt good, didn't it? Well, that's not what I use the money for, but I can see where Miss Tasha is misconstrued to think that based off something she Who saw on Instagram. Who were buying the drinks? You, you I admit didn't pay it for anything. To, you admitted to sitting there with your your I children's admitted. father. Pardon? I admitted, yes. Uh huh. And he was buying them. Yes. Who am I to get? He up would a buy free you trip? alcohol as opposed to paying rent for his children's housing. Go ahead. Miss Tasha had been a very good friend and was always there for me and I was really appreciative for her lending me money. Did I once ask her for the money? No. She went out of her way to give me this money. For and rent. For rent, specifically to put a roof over my children's mm -hmm. head and that's exactly what I did. I was days away from uh, having to pay rent when everything kind of started to f fall in place. She had given me the money. I had just finally gotten in contact with the father of my children, and um, he had offered me to come out there to pretty much look for a new job and start a new life. 
I hadn't been in contact with my mom, and she, I hadn't told her, but she lived in the area, but me and her weren't on good terms based off the previous life decisions I made, having children and not finishing school. So around that time, the two weeks where she, did, she hadn't seen me and I hadn't been going on the walks, I was deciding if I was either gonna pay the 800 and stay there another month, scraping around check to check, or make a bigger decision and save the future of me and my children. And so that's what I did. I Tell sent me how my, you did that, what did you do? I sent my kids to my mom's for the summer and I paid her $600 to watch them. And that's good, because most foster care, or most, most uh, child then care. Then what happened to the place that you were renting and you couldn't I let pay it go. your rent I for? I had to let it go. I was already behind one okay. month's rent. And she gave you the money to save that. That's what she gave she, it to you for. She, she asked you how much was your rent. You said 800. Okay. She gave you 800, not six of it to go to, to my mama so that she can uh, provide for them. And while, when she come, when she not at the club, or you to go to Vegas to hang out. That's not what she gave you the money for. You just said you only used 600 of it, and you gave that to your mother. And only for a summer vacation. What happened? Where you live now? What happened after that? I'm living in Vegas now with my kids and the father of my children. How long after uh, you took her money did you move there? After the summer was over. Okay, why didn't you give her money back? Since you didn't use it on the rent, the $800 on the rent that she intended it to go toward. Well, I was under the impression one, once I got back on my feet, I would pay her back. But she was so upset that she saw me out doing who knows what in partying. Vegas. Partying mm -hmm. to, is what it With looked like. With the man who didn't pay for your housing of your children, the man who gave you those babies and did not pay for them, she saw you out partying with them on her tab. So $800 is your judgment. You gave her you. that money for the purpose of paying that $800 rent she needed to keep her and her children from being put out. Instead, she took it. Some of it went to her mother. Who knows what happened with the money there? It didn't go toward the rent. Her mother was already in there with the rent. So who knows what happened with that 600 Then the other, she goes to Vegas and gives the money or parties with the man who wouldn't even pay for his own children. Have a good day. Judgment for the plaintiff. Judge Mathis has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant has been ordered to pay $800. When you're blessed with the gift, Make sure you do what you say that you're going to do with it. But I did indeed use the money as I said I would. Coming up. She cheated on me with her roommate. Not who's... this pure woman yes. from Presbyterian in West Virginia. Appar Not her. You kidding. Apparently she's bisexual. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Marshall West is suing Natalie Black in the amount of $1,200. Mr. West claims his girlfriend cheated on him with her roommate and says Miss Black refuses to return the promised ring he gave her now that they're no longer together. State your name. Hi, I'm Marshall West. Ma'am? Natalie Black. All right, Mr. West, you're suing Natalie for $1,200, saying she's cheated on you and she refuses to return the promise ring. That correct? That is correct, Your Honor. All right. Give me some background. Yeah, we met in third grade in West Virginia, in uh, elementary school, actually. And um, I've always known a crush on her because the other girls seem very just, I guess, not my type. She's a Christian conservative like myself. And you tell me about your faith. You I, there as well? Yes, we grew up together in the same neighborhood. We've both been Presbyterian our whole lives. Both our parents raised us. How old us. are you? We're both 20. Uh, we go to USC and we're both going into our junior year. Very exciting. We traveled all the way here to go to college together because we've been together and we couldn't imagine not being together anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> when they talk like that, Doc. When in three years, they're doing everything. <laughs> I agree. Y'all gonna, gonna be wild kids in a minute at some <laughs> point in your life. And I, I would have hoped you'd done it already. Because you get in college while you're at now, you're gonna see a lot of wild stuff and at some point you're gonna give in. Coming up. She told him that she was in love with me, which was news to me. She never told me that. I, I certainly have never had any feelings for her whatsoever. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. 
This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Mathis Court is back with the case of Marshall West, who is suing Natalie Black for property loss. Tell me why you have to sue her. She cheated on me with her roommate. Not Who's... this pure woman yes. from Presbyterian in West Virginia. Appar Not her, you kidding. Apparently she's bisexual. It is all a misunderstanding. At the beginning of our sophomore year, he wa we wanted to get engaged, but an engagement ring was really expensive. I want to hear about you and this woman. <sighs> Uh, so he gave me his um, grandmother's ring as a promise ring, and I accepted. And we decided that you know when we can afford it after college, we're going to get engaged. Uh, meanwhile, I had is a new that considered the engagement ring? Do you all both consider that? Because I understand, uh, what'd you call it, friend ring? It's a promise ring. Uh, yeah, a promise it's ring. It's kind of like a pre-proposal. It's not the same yeah. as no. an engagement ring. Am no. I correct? Yes, that's All correct. Right, so while this was happening, uh, I had a, I have a roommate named Whitney, and the three of us we were friends. Yeah. And we would we would hang out. Uh, and then second semester this year, he went abroad to study in Spain for business, which I'm really proud of him for. And then it was just me and my roommate, and you know things were started off really great. We were still friends. Even the three of us we would talk, and then things you know started to get different. She one night came home pretty drunk and then she asked me how many guys I had ever kissed before and I was said of course only Marshall. I hope. And then she started to say that guys kind of prefer if you have kissed multiple people um, and that you know it was better to have more experience and when Whitney suggested that we practice kissing and that mm. I imagine it was Marshall I said okay. That's what she told you. So he did that a few times, and honestly, I felt more confident and ready for Marshall coming home. How did he find out? Uh, she, she texted him, apparently. So I got your woman. She told him that she was in love with me, which was news to me. She never told me that. I, I certainly have never had any feelings for her whatsoever. How will Judge Mathis rule? Find out when Mathis Court returns. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. All right, let's get to the money. It was a gift. The gift was completed. You can only take back a promise of a gift. And marriage is a conditional gift. It's uh, an engagement ring. It's a promise that we're going to get married. But if we don't, we give the ring back. In this case, that's why I was asking you, was it a promise ring? And what is a promise ring? And you said it was a complete ring. It had nothing to do with the engagement. Therefore, you would only be entitled if you were engaged and you broke off the engagement. Have a good day. Claim dismissed. Judge Mathis has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been dismissed. Actually, now I'm thinking that I do love you and it's not like you're with another guy, so you can't really compete with that, but and I And has gone. I, I blocked her. We're not, we'll never see her again. You've had your day in court. Step this way. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.